Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are doing a taste test of our dogs, um, comparing their standard food, which is pooch and ma, to the ordinary like supermarket, the common brands that you see in the supermarket. I'm not gonna be naming any names of other brands or anything like that, um, but I'm gonna do a bit of a comparison between the quality stuff that we love, that we feed them currently, versus the normal everyday stuff that you see in the supermarket, and show you, hopefully, the difference. The dogs will choose their own food today. Here's the okay. Oh yeah, sorry, I, I have labelled them. I need to use the uh, Poochamart <laughs> to balance them up so you can see them. But we've got Poochamart on our right and the standard supermarket stuff on our left. Wait. Wait, licking lips. Ready, Nico, you have to wait. Ready. Go on, good girl. Oh, just didn't go even go over and smell the other one. Let's, Nico, let's do you not- see if that was a trick. You've got to move the labels around. Oh! Yay! There you go. <laughs> Look at that! No, switch the labels. <laughs> we just thought we'd just test that then. She just turned her nose straight up at it. Right, guys, so now I can hear Phil. So we're going to take. She's already had a breakfast, this isn't a real meal. Um, we're going to test it with Phil. Phil will literally eat anything. Let's. You ready? Good boy! Oh, <laughs> <gasps> Phil! He had a proper sniff then, didn't he? He's too fast. Oh, don't let him have it all because I need to test Teddy. Leave it, leave it. Okay, Teddy, you ready to taste test? Pooch and Mutt or Supermarket? Three, two, one, go! Come on, Teddy! Din Dins! Good boy! Teddy Din Dins! Good boy, come on. Do you want your Din Dins? Go pick one. Teddy, come on. Go on, go pick one. Go get some food. Come on. Come on. Come right. Come on, Teddy. Do you want din -dins? Okay, guys, so Teddy was a fail. He's not eating either because he's just not hungry. And to be fair, he does just graze at his food normally. So, Phil gets round two since Teddy just is not hungry. Real and he's been Henry. crying. Henry the Hoover. Come on. Where are you going, Phil? Which one? Oh. <laughs> There was no question, was there? Okay guys, so you've obviously seen the taste test now, the dogs picking their own food. Their food that they selected was obviously pooch and mutt. Um, we, have, we swapped their food over about two months ago now, and it was just because it was getting to the point where Phil had just hit, turned eight, so he'd entered into the senior category for dog food. Um, he'd also lost all the weight that he needed to. Phil was on a diet for like the last maybe two years. Um, whereas Nico, she's still on that diet. She still needs to lose weight. So she still needs to be on a weight controlled diet. Phil, he needed to be on an elderly, something for his joints, taking care of him. And obviously Teddy's still a puppy, so he's still on puppy food. Um, so that's, that what, that's what really prompted the change. Um, and now two months into it, I cannot recommend it enough. I was so apprehensive and nervous to just do a complete switch over straight away. Um, but it was time and it did need to happen. And what I'm really excited, and the purpose of this video, Pooch and Mutt have partnered with us and they are offering, for the first time ever, and only for 48 hours, they are offering 50% off their entire range so that you can try it. And I hope then you'll see how much we love it and why we are recommending it to you guys. So in a second, I'm gonna go over and talk to you about each of the individual pet foods that we we feed um i've just noticed that phil is currently guarding underneath teddy is under there he's on the other side of this and he's guarding the food from him um but yeah i'm going to come on and talk to you about each uh food that we feed pets and i'm also going to talk to you about my you know if you were to buy one product what is it that you should buy what are my absolute favorites um but right now i'm just going to flash up the discount code for you all and also i'm going to leave the link in the description box below so now i've tailored each pet to a specific diet. So for example, Phil is on the joint care, which is specific for him um, and his age. And I mean, he's not got any joint issues now, but I don't want him to have them in a couple of years time. So I'm trying to um, be ahead of the curve, I guess. And um, particularly Phil, I've seen the most transformation with. Um, I'm gonna go and do a whole separate video. I will insert a clip here. But for Phil, I am actually seeing a lot of hair growth now, a lot of new hairs in completely bold patches. Um, and he's on a couple of things. He's on Pooch and Mutt Salmon Oil specifically for his coat, but also he's on the, like there's these treats that you can give, um, they're probiotic, they're for skin and coat, 
and you can have up to 30 a day. They're not really a treat, they're more like a food supplement, but they're specifically targeting his coat, um, and he has got new hair growth, and he has alopecia, so that one is huge for me. I'm gonna insert a little um, photo somewhere here in the corner that will show you where the hair's coming um, on his bold patches, and yeah, I'm absolutely amazed by it. Teddy, obviously, he's still on puppy food, but now he's also on puppy supplements to really boost, and hopefully he'll grow a lot, lot bigger, because I feel like he might have reached full size, but he's only, he's not even 12 months old yet. Um, and yeah, he's still got another six months of growing. So I just want to make sure he's got absolutely every piece of nutrition to help that. Um, and Nico, she's still got a bit of weight to lose. I keep thinking like she's lost another three kilograms, amazing. And when will we be done? But just by looking at her, I can still see that she is overweight. So Nico still has um, quite a bit to lose, I think, just by looking at her. And I'm just going to keep checking in each month, but we're really working on it and I've never seen her lose. She's never got down to this bit before. So I'm really, really happy with her progress and she'll stay on the weight loss food until she hits her goal. I'm not entirely sure what it is. I'll keep going back to the vet, um, but just by looking at her, you can see, you know, you should be able to feel the spine. You should be able to see the indentation behind her rib cage and where her waist comes in. Um, so she's not where she needs to be yet. Um, and we'll probably do a vet checkup on her way in maybe another two months time. And one last thing before I'll stop talking, but I am tr really trying to convince you to just give it a try um, and see what we see in the products. And one last thing before we go, I really want to tell you about um, the founder because I think Pooch and Mutt's history just speaks for itself. So um, it's, it was founded by a man called Guy um, and he had a dog called Cookie who had hip dysplasia. Um, at three months old, he was told she was... <laughs> Did you see Nico then? Uh, um, yeah, three months old. She was told he was told, sorry, that she would need surgery um, to correct it. He then put her on some joint supplements from his mum's company, um, added it into her normal diet, and she lived to 11 years old without ever needing that surgery. And that's when he decided that he really wanted to focus on pet nutrition. And he then worked with some top nutritionists to cut out all the mass-produced junk pet food and really focus on nutrition and adding in supplements into dogs' daily diets to help them lead happy and healthy lives. So for, for Pooch and Mutt, it's all about supplements and extra nutrition for both a healthy gut, healthy mind, healthy body. It's, it covers everything. Um, and that's what I really love. One man's passion turned into something that is so wholesome, so fantastic and we are proudly, proudly sponsored by Pooch and Mark. Uh, so give it a go, let us know what you think. It all depends on your dog's needs, what you feed them. They've obviously got the diet one, the um, slim and slender. They've got the joint care. They do one that's for digestion, if you've got any issues with digestion. Um, and they do one for like high energetic dogs, one that are carving pet food for them. Um, and then finally, we've got all the stuff for the skin and coat. So. If you do have coat issues or if you just want them to be in a much better condition, I think all pets, regardless of what you feed them, should try salmon oil in their daily diet. Um, that's been life changing for me. I would highly recommend salmon oil. Um, and then secondly, if you're like me and you used to ration your treats, um, so you don't eat, you know, I'd have a stick, a treat stick and I would break it. I know Major does the same thing, break it into like 20 pieces and give them little bits at a time because I was so nervous about the calories and the amount they were consuming but I wanted to give them lots of treats throughout the day. Whereas um, the, these ones, these are like my, if I was to pick one favorite product, no, it'd probably be the salmon oil. My second favorite product would be these supplements. Um, and the reason is, is because I can feed my dogs. It's based on the dog's weight, but for a dog that's over 30 kilograms, you can feed up to 30 treats per day. And they're quite small already, so I don't need to break them apart. Um, let me show you one so you can see how small they are. They're not that small, to be fair. I used to break treats smaller than this. Oh, I've opened the bag now. I'm done. So this is what they look like. So they're not that small. Um, he's going straight into the bag. So I've got five in my hand here, which he can have now. <laughs> it's like a sixth of his allowance for the day. But they are so, so good. And they are just helping his coat. They have shrimp and coconut. So lots of fish. Um, and they smell like you would want to eat them. They really smell strong of coconut. They smell yummy. Um, but yeah, these would be like, if you were to try one product, maybe these are my favourite. And the salmon oil. Um, but I would highly recommend the full diet, especially whilst there is 50% off. You're not going to get a discount code like this ever again. Um, they have done this as a one-time only, 48 hour only, um, and they've never done a discount like this before. So we are honoured that they will do that for us and our channel and for our subscribers and our followers. Um, 
so yeah um, make sure you use the discount code i'll put it up here again um and if you have any questions or any recommendations then please do let us know 